What's up guys, it's Scootman5000. Today we're back for another action figure review and we are finishing out Elite Series 82, looking at Rob Gronkowski and Jerry the King Lawler. As you can see, these are already open. These are actually the first two I opened as soon as I got them. I didn't film that, but I'll put up some images of what they actually looked like mint on card, but I did keep the boxes just to show you what they look like. They're the same style we've been seeing with the rest of this wave, the brand new 2021 style with the white and red aesthetic and then the certified authentic logo. On the left side, you get the renders, and on the right, you get the in-ring shots, or for Gronk, you could just say the standing there at WrestleMania shot. And then on the back, you get the read-ups, and you get the other characters in the wave. So for Jerry the King Lawler, throughout the new generation, the King provided color commentary on Raw and clashed with legends like Bret Hitman Hart and Roddy Roddy Piper inside the ring. And then for Gronk, the pro football megastar, known simply as Gronk, walked into WrestleMania 36 as the host and walked out as the 24-7 champion. And you can see all the rest of the characters in the wave. We looked at Keith Lee and Finn Balor the other day. We just looked at John Morrison and Alexa Bliss. And now we're going to finish it out with Rob Gronkowski and Jerry the King. And with packaging taken care of, let's get to it. Let's look at Rob Gronkowski and Jerry the King Lawler. And here's Jerry the King Lawler out of the packaging. For his accessories, he's got the alternate hands as per usual. On the figure, they're the gripping hands. And then he also does come with an alternate pair of fists. And then the rest of it's his entrance gear. He's got the crown that he would hold up, iconic, in his entrance. And then he's got this cloth goods cape. It's done in kind of multiple layers. It's got the white kind of frilly parts up top. And then you got this blue cape that's a bit transparent. And we're left with a pretty good Jerry the King Lawler. Now, I guess it said new generation on the back. To me, this looks like even before that. This is some pretty classic Jerry the King. Honestly, I would have preferred it to be more like Attitude Era style, where it could have been him with the big jacket and the crown, something like that. I think that just goes with more of the collection that Mattel has made so far. I don't really know where to put this Jerry the King on my display, because this is really like the Memphis legend Jerry the King Lawler, rather than the, uh, the WWF version that we came to know you know, more so in the Attitude Era and later. But still, it's a good looking figure. I can't deny it that. You can see the head sculpt, pretty good for Jerry the King. Obviously, they got it de-aged, I guess, to make this look like 20, 30, 40 years ago. This cape, I want to get on camera before I removed it, because once I remove it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back in position. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna untie this knot here. And we're gonna try to get this cape off as safely as possible, try to retain as much of the shape so that way, if I ever go to put this back on, it's not going to be totally a law. But you can just see the intricacy of this cape. We're going to put that to the side. We can get a better look at the king himself. He's got his iconic one strap for the singlet. You get the chest hair pretty nice, and it's a pretty good body shape for Jerry the King Lawler. He's had that one other elite figure a couple years ago. I think that was more based on his match with Michael Cole. But this is definitely a lot more old school. You get the blue singlet. His elbow pad's got a nice little decal, the Jerry the King logo, the little crest going on there. And then most of the detail here is going to be in the tights. Really great looking stuff here. So it's bright white. And then you got all sorts of these regal looking Jerry the King Lawler designs all over it. All sorts of little royal crests going on on this figure. And that's definitely the standout detail here is these tights. That's going down into these boots, which are pretty unique looking actually. I don't know if I've seen this sculpt too many times. They look a bit oversized, classic wrestling boots. And he's got the signature Lawler crown right there done in white but aesthetically that's about it for jerry the king lawler so now we're going to go ahead and do some articulation so the head does the double ball joint it's got that range of motion his hair is a bit long in the back so he doesn't look back as much but he looks forward that much the torso does ab crunch goes back that far forward that much the shoulder is going to swivel and it's going to hinge you do get the upper bicep you get the 90 degree single jointed elbow and then you get the rotation and the hinge at the wrist he gets nearly a full split i don't know what they're doing with these metellas but they seem to have a much better range of motion this way let's see he does not kick back because of the sculpt here on the bottom of the singlet he does kick forward that far the double jointed knee is going to be good because there's no knee pads blocking it the upper boot cut looks good and then he's got the hinges on the foot which are kind of awkward but he does have a pretty good pivot and that about covers jerry the king lawler so now we're going to go ahead and do some comparison and as always, here he is with our basic Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Here he is with Elite Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Here he is with Elite 82, Finn Balor and Keith Lee. Here he is with Elite 82, Jomo and Alexa Bliss. And for some more fitting comparisons, I think he's going to look great with your Legend Series 7, Greg the Hammer Valentine, and Legend Series 8, Jake the Snake Roberts. But with Jerry the King Lawler out of the way, that does mean, finally, we saved the best for last. It's time to look at Rob Gronkowski's first and only WWE figure. So let's take a look. And with Gronk out of the packaging, he does come with quite a few accessories, actually. The main one you're seeing is, of course, that jacket. When they first signed Gronk in WWE, they just made a bunch of t-shirts and pants and jackets, and it all just said Gronk Mania on it. They didn't really try too hard. It's just a bunch of 
block text that says the word Gronk on it. But you can see he's totally decked out in that merch, and that goes with this soft goods jacket, which has no right to be as good as it is. For his alternate hands, he's got the gripping hands, and then he also does have two pairs of open waving hands. And then the rest of his accessories are as follows. He's got the sunglasses that he wore as the host of WrestleMania, with that he's also got a WWE microphone. And then the best accessory, and one of the main reasons to pick this guy up, is that we get another 24-7 championship that we first got with our troop. And we're left with Rob Gronkowski's first and probably only ever WWE Elite figure because as you know he was signed at Wrestlemania he was probably going to be a wrestler I guess he did Wrestlemania and then he had the 24-7 championship he was barely on TV he did like one or two skits from home where he just fought our truth and then he goes and signs back to football he quits WWE within like a month or something like that so the timing on this figure is actually pretty unreal and despite the fact I can't stand Rob Gronkowski and especially when he kind of took over WWE for Wrestlemania there's just something to his whole story in WWE that makes this figure so interesting as a release. But we'll go ahead and take a closer look. The head sculpt here perfectly captures the idiocy of Rob Gronkowski, I guess you could say. He's got the big goofy smile going on. That's about as perfect of an expression for Mr. Gronk. And then you can see the cloth goods jacket going on right here. Underneath it's just like a white tank top. You can see how that looks. But I don't see any reason to ever take this jacket off. This is basically his only memorable appearance in WWE. Is going to be when he wore this jacket as kind of wrestlemania's host winning the 24 7 championship and the gronk merch is probably some of the worst shit that wwe has ever made but they did make it pretty well here as a figure the jacket especially i love the cloth goods so i can't fault it for that but then even down to the pants here you see the gronk mania sweatpants and who knows if this sculpt is even new maybe these are like the mick foley sweatpants or something like that but this actually might be brand new which is something in itself that they made new sculpt for rob gronkowski you could see that leopard blue print i guess that's rob gronkowski's brand that's printed down the other side of his leg and then he's got these white sneakers high top going on here again i don't know if this is any new sculpt do you see some details on here i'm sure he was wearing nikes or something like that but they're not going to make that on this figure obviously but honestly i don't know what to say about mr gronkowski because this is a really good figure it really does perfectly capture him from that event he's got all the accessories he needs you can see him with the microphone and the sunglasses everything like that so for this it's just one of those figures that despite the fact that i'm not in any way a fan of mr gronkowski it's a figure i had to have i think i'm more just a fan of the figures and just how interesting of a release that this is because of how short-lived his run in wwe even was if you want to even call it a run and if anything this kind of sets a precedent for like the celebrity figures that i've always wanted to see i think it'd be great to see you know like snoop dogg or trump or something like that any arnold schwarzenegger someone who's appeared on wwe tv to get an elite figure this is a bit different because he technically did sign like a talent contract but either way it still kind of sets that precedent so for that it's cool and like i said pretty perfect figure there's no faults with it really but just what it's depicting definitely not going to be for everybody and it probably shouldn't be for me but more on the history of it is what makes it interesting like i said and with Gronk all but taken care of, let's go ahead and finally do some comparisons. Here you can see him with our basic Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Here he is with Elite Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Here he is with Alexa Bliss and John Morrison. Here he is with Finn Balor and Keith Lee. And then finally here he is with, I think, Elite 79 R-Truth that came with the first ever 24-7 championship. And then here he is with his best friend Mojo Rawley. I only have the basic. I don't even know if he has an Elite. And honestly, I just bought this for the broski anyway. But hey, at least I got someone to put my mojo with. And that's going to do it for Jerry the King Lawler and Rob Gronkowski. And with that, the finisher to Elite 82. And overall, I really think this is one of the best Elite sets they've put out in a long time. I mean, the Elites are always great and they've been really great consistently. But I think the only set in recent history that stacks up to this one is the set that had Heavy Machinery and Christian and John Cena. I think that was a really strong wave altogether. The only figures that kind of stick out to me as being a bit weird are these two. One, because you have Gronk, who's just kind of, I don't even know where to put him in my display. But he is very interesting as a figure. And I think the Jerry Lawler probably would have been better suited for the Legend series rather than being in a mainline Elite series. But that's just my opinion. I think they're both still excellent figures and worth picking up for their own reasons. Time will tell if this Gronk figure has the crossover appeal that I think Mattel hopes for. Or if it's going to sit in clearance and peg warm and be $10 on ringside. But I mean, it does have the 24-7 title, and like I said, it's a really great figure. The cloth goods jacket is pretty unreal. The head sculpt's really good. It perfectly captures Rob Gronkowski, but who likes Rob Gronkowski? I guess that's really the, the main... And I wouldn't even say it's a matter of if you like Rob Gronkowski, because I know I don't, but I'm still sitting here with a Rob Gronkowski elite figure. 
And even if I didn't get the entire series, I definitely would have picked this guy up. So, so I don't know what that says about me as a collector, but I guess that's up to you to decide what you want to do about these figures. As always, I'm going to leave the video off with some figure photography. And you can see all of my other figure photography on Instagram, scoopman underscore 5000. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next action figure review.